Now in theaters. Nightcrawler, but not the blue guy from Marvel. So when I first got an audition for this way before it was announced, I saw, oh, look, they're making a Nightcrawler movie, but it's not the amazing Nightcrawler. <laughs> it's about guys who film crime as it happens, the gore, the car crashes, the shootings and stuff. And Jake Gyllenhaal is absolutely amazing. Four stars, a must-see, an absolute thrill. Jake Gyllenhaal is amazing. He plays crazy so well. He's so articulate and smart, but but just downright diabolical in this film. There's only a couple things about the movie I didn't like, which is why I didn't give it five stars. The music doesn't quite fit for me at times. It's very upbeat, and it doesn't fit the dark mood of the film. It's a very dark film. But maybe that was to play off of how nuts he ends up becoming. Filming style of the movie, it feels very 80s, even though it takes place in modern time. And Jake Gyllenhaal just nails the craziness. He is so just cold, man. It was very Gone Girl, but without all the mind twisting. Nightcrawler, rated R. It's a bird. It's a man. It's Birdman! but not Harvey Burbank from Hanna-Barbera. Michael Keaton and cast are brilliant. Five stars, a must-see, a dang near-perfect film. This movie was everything a movie should be. Uh, uh, the only bad thing is that the movie was only released in, in limited theaters, so you'll have to find one of those theaters that play indie films to actually watch this movie, but it's definitely worth seeing. Birdman, rated R. Now on Blu-ray and DVD. I didn't get to watch anything this past week, but there's one that I'm going to uh, to check out. I saw that there's a new Street Fighter film on DVD, Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. And I know it's going to be horrible because I saw Chun Li, but something in me has to see it. <laughs> so I'm going to check out Assassin's Fist because it's Street Fighter and it's going to be awesomely bad or badly awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and an awesome series on the internet is finally on DVD. For those of you who don't have internets, you can check out Mortal Kombat Legacy Part 2 on DVD. I find myself fast-forwarding Flash to the good parts like I used to do with Arrow Season 1, so <clears throat> Captain Cole was cool. Huh, cool. The Walking Dead was a Beth episode. I'm not a big fan of Beth. And it was only like a couple of cool moments in the entire episode towards the end. American Horror Story, they kill off the best villain in the, in the entire show, in my opinion. And now it's kind of like, what's the point of watching it? Star Wars Rebels filler episode from a previous planet earlier in the pilot, that they showed during the pilot, so it's nothing really new. And Doctor Who finally gets a good episode, but it's the season finale. And now I have to wait till the next season premiere to see another good episode. After watching it, I was like, wait, this is the season finale? It feels like it just started. So this is the first time I've seen an episode that really felt like Doctor Who for me and not just some filler bullcrap episode and now it's over again. Thanks to Tom Croon and WasabiCon for having me as a guest in Jacksonville, Florida. It was awesome. Want to see me at your local con? Request me. Check out the link below. Check out my previous videos for contest. You could win a Blu-ray copy of The Amazing Spider-Man or one of several video games. It's time for your comments. Naruto, The Last Movie. Captain Timo on duty. Ain't nobody got time for that. Stop sticking your beak in my business or I'll have a sad face. Rexicork of Alapatorius. There are no strings on me. Be sure to subscribe for more epic voice reviews and impression gameplay videos, digital shorts, and more. All of these awesome shirts are from Ripped Apparel.com.